Okay, let me make my other video. <clears throat> I think I only saw the uh, first few minutes of this video. <laughs> Uh, but I'm sharing. I have. I don't think I've seen the whole video yet. But I'm sharing it because it uh, inspired these comments. These are just my thoughts. Uh, the bad guys. The bad guys. The non-human spiritual entities. Let's say the devil and his minions. <clears throat> want humans to fight each other so they get destroyed meaning humans get destroyed you could say the devil is envious of god's creation humans and by getting ourselves to harm and destroy one another he is getting back at god this is an idea i'm not, I'm not sure if i um I'm not sure. <clears throat> it's just an idea. I'm not sure if I uh, think it's uh, factually true or historically true. But it might be theologically true. Maybe there is some kind of a uh, war between good and evil. I'm still open to that idea. There's a some kind of a reality there. Here's another idea. God created humans. Let's say God is, uh, oh, this is the same thing. I'm just expanding upon it. The devil rebelled against God and is an enemy of God. Devil wants to hurt God by hurting us and, and by deceiving and manipulating us to walk away from God, thereby hurting God who loves us and sees us as his creation. We humans are caught in this spiritual war between God and the devil. This is an age-old, ancient story. It makes a lot of sense when you see how humans treat each other and are warring with one another in this present age. There are spiritual forces that place compelling and motivating people, or manipulating them, to work against the interests of humanity as a whole. Powers and principalities. I feel like the Bible is literally true. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> the devil employs the age-old divide and conquer tactic to cause misery and harm to humanity. Um, what I'm I've been doing more research on this, and it seems to me like some of these UFOs, it's like the the, the universe is uh, like, if you think of God as a conscious being, the supreme consciousness, the universe reality is made up of different densities of existence it's like uh, the light okay the, the highest light is the one which let's just say it's we can call it love or the highest f feelings the, the, the best feelings you can feel is that the the highest light and um it's like it's like the mind manipulates the matter. Um, anyway, this has to do with this whole quantum physics. This is a wave function, and the like. The observer causes the wave function the, to collapse into a particle, and it's this idea that the the, the material world is being manipulated by your thoughts like if you so the thoughts create re reality and i feel like some of these ufos 
they are literally thought forms that are manipulating some kind of a plasma or some kind of a matter which is much more malleable like the matter that we see around us like you know the like the the world the material world is very dense it's very difficult to manipulate this dense matter with your thought but if you were not in this body let's say you were outside your body perhaps you can <clears throat> You can manipulate a form of matter that is not as dense as the matter that our bodies are composed of. And I feel like some of these UFOs, they have been able, they 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 manipulate, they, they change shape. You know, people talk about how these things change shape, and uh, I think it's like uh, the consciousness of the being that is is, is sort of creating these shapes through manipulating plasma or some kind of matter that is not as dense as us, but which we can see. I think there are so many, there are so many densities of matter folded up on this current matter, like the space around us is made up of so many different levels and and uh, we can't see all the, let's see we can only see one band one spectrum of this and maybe even interact with it and the one we interact with is seems very solid everything that we interact with like this table or whatever your body which feels solid uh, exists at a certain frequency i think there are other other bands of reality <clears throat> for instance our 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 thoughts our thoughts don't exist in the in the material realm it exists at an at another level and and i think there are other levels to reality which are also have a material aspect to them but which are which are not perceptible to us and i think some of these ufos they um are these beings they exist in these in these densities and sometimes using technology or some kind of a frequency manipulation they pierce the veil and show themselves to us in our band in our frequency spectrum um i think that's sort of what's happening here i struggle with fear and anxiety some would say crippling anxiety i have to learn to develop my inner strength I can use these episodes of debilitating fear and crippling anxiety as triggers to develop my inner strength. Why do I keep on repeating myself? I need to stop seeking for validation from the outside and learn to rely on my own inner intuition. I need to trust myself and my own inner judgment. I am a good person. I may not be perfect, and nor am I expected to be, but I am on the side of the good. This is important to me for some reason. I don't know why, but it is important for me to be good and be perceived as good, but perhaps I should stop worrying about being perceived as good and focus more on being good. I should stop putting so much energy into how the world and pe other people perceive me. Their judgment is not as important as my own when it comes to these inner moral values. I know who I am. I know I am a good person. There are some videos of that that talk about anxiety, which I found helpful. Ah, here's another another religion from a different perspective. I was watching this video where it was mentioned that we are souls first, and how we and how we reincarnate through. Many lifetimes and bodies. It just occurred to me that I am meant to be here. That there is nothing wrong with me or my life or the life of other people. That we are meant to have these experiences. It brought with it a kind of peace. That I didn't have to be in constant conflict with myself and the world. Everyone is here to learn and grow through these experiences. 
This recognition brings about compassion for myself and everyone around me. I am not going to pretend to say I understand everything or that it makes complete sense. I just have to accept this with humility that in my present state of existence I may never know it all. That being made to forget or not know is a kind of blessing that allows me to experience what it is I am here to experience. I don't know, I just feel so... <laughs> I don't feel what I wrote here. Like, uh, I wrote this, what, days ago? Well, almost 10 days ago. And I, uh, right now I'm, I have a different mood. I'm in a different mood. It's been suggested that some of these ET spaceships are like self-enclosed planets with their own biospheres which are created using holographic technology. Some people say the universe itself is holographic. What is planet Earth? What if planet Earth is a spaceship? This is something that's that I've, that's occurred to me, like, if the whole universe is consciousness, that means everything like a planet or as a star is conscious, it's a conscious being, a thought form, and I am a thought form. Like, you know how in quantum physics they talk about like how when you observe <laughs> the the the, pro, the wave function turns into a particle. So imagine if the sun is like a thought form that, through intention, created itself. Um, like I am here because I intend to be here. Like I, like I am, a, I am a thinking being, and um, for some reason I decided to show up here to do something. And I feel like, why are all these religions? They always talk about these moral values. You see, there's a common theme. Like you get these gurus. Even these UFOs, some of, you know, they, they talk about hey, you should be good, you should be a, live a good life. Why is that? Because I think these beings are, exist in higher realms, in different densities of the existence. And what happens in this realm affects what happens in the higher realms. And it could be that some of these beings came down and incarnated into human bodies and um, they want to impact the world, the human world perhaps, or the earth as a whole, because if everything is like a interconnected consciousness, um, it's like what humans do in the third density in, in our spectrum of existence. Uh, like the way we live is going to impact the way they live. Or there is even this idea that we have a higher self. So the, what, the, the, what we do in here, in this third dimension, in this third density, affects our higher self or they we could have multiple layers to our lives like you know simultaneously we could be existing in many densities and and and, and then these other densities might be in the future like my future self is ex is simultaneously like 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 my future lives are simultaneously being played out right now and what I do now, the choices I make, is going to directly impact my future self who is having an existence right now because time is, you know, in, in times is not linear. There's this idea that time is always in the present. So my future self is living the life right now. And the choices I make now is affecting my future self and maybe vice versa. So... So the, the way we live our life impacts not only our lives, but our other lives and the lives of these other beings. And we're all connected to the source. So I think the choices are important. You know, it's not just about you and what you do here. It's about you and your other aspects of you 
and the whole universe as a whole and and it's all like interconnected and so the the choices we make the intention is important because you literally sort of manifest reality because you're a thought form and and as a thought form you you can create reality not just the matter but this force of movement through time, um, like fate, and and, and uh, there, these I is now you know there might be a lot going on here than just what we see around us. Like there might be a, a lot going on that I don't even understand actually, bro. Uh, not sure what the implications are of this realization. Does it change anything? We are sold incarnating into this these materialistic holographic bodies and densities to learn spiritual truths. This could be what's going on here. The love I generate comes from God. There is a battle between love and fear. Fear wants to take. Love gives. I notice this in myself as well. I can choose to live in fear, looking for love from outside, or I can choose love and receive it from the divine source, God. This may sound Christian, but it may also be true. Faith is a gift. What do I mean by that? There is a difference between knowing something to be true for certain and having faith in something based on signs and wonders, but uncertain knowledge. Faith is a type of experience that is very different from certain knowledge. It is a wonderful experience. To believe is to open oneself up to possibilities, which is not possible to do when you have certainty. Faith is a gift, and it is through faith that you come to know God, because God is opening oneself up to possibilities and realms of knowing that is continually being created. God is not a fact, a dead end. God is an encounter, a life, living, breathing, knowing. Yeah, I kind of like that. Uh, we're constantly cr creating ourselves through the choices we make. And the choices we make impact not only our lives, but the lives of our other possible existences and the existences of all those around us. And there might be something more here going on. I was gonna I was gonna title this video UFOs are leading me to Jesus but <laughs> um I don't I don't think I can say I'm a Christian um because I that just doesn't feel right um but I do believe there is a uh, spiritual component a uh, inter dimensional intense I do believe there is a, a definitely a spiritual component to life and uh, how it plays out you know I'm still I'm still learning I'm still inquiring trying to trying to learn about this <laughs>